Samsung 2021. This is the Q60 model for 21. It's the Q60AA or A, depending what country you're from. 43 inch model today. I will just point out our timestamp in the description. I'll get the dimensions of the stand, uh, visa holes, and I'll start getting the bottom of the TV to the bottom visa hole as well. So lean that forwards, top of the box we can see we've got the two feet as previous years, slimmer box this year, also instruction book and remote pack there. That is the TV and instantly, just put it there, I can tell the TV's much slimmer this year. So that is it from the front. Spin it around. He says that's the same thing. That's the TV from the back. Cool. We'll get closer to the back next. So TV is now laid flat on the box as per instructions. Got the two feet there as well. Just unpack those quickly. Two. So how well it shows up I don't know but it is marked left and right on the back of the feet marked. No they're not, so it's pointless marking the back of the TV. But this straight so I'm guessing they're pretty much the same on either side and they should slot into those channels somehow from the bottom wiggle those in that's one in so it's pretty simple same for the left side that's it should have a positive click as it goes up okay I'll bring the camera down in a moment. We'll look closely at the connections on the back as well. Well, as I'm looking at it there, you can see the figure eight mains input there is recessed into there. Okay, so that's now looking at the TV sideways and we can see the side inputs there. I think they should show up. But we've got USB there, half an amp, USB one amp for portable hard drives, etc. Wide internet port or LAN, HDMI 2, is EARC, so that's Enhanced Audio Return Channel, HDMI 1 there. Third HDMI goes in the back horizontally, we can just see that, and a digital audio optical outputs for sound bars, hi-fis, etc. It does have a satellite antenna input and a normal terrestrial TV aerial input there as well. As we can just see here, that's the figure eight mains input. Right, onto the instruction book and remote pack. open. So I think the instruction books, they're quite condensed now. Some of it's built into the TV or the full version can come from samsung.com. Some POS there about sound bars, quick guide to the remotes. That is the user manual which is about oh, two pages there folded. Oh, just come out. Okay, so it's limited, but you get it online or there is an e-manual built into the TV as well. Right about disposal and so on. That's the remote control smart remote. So into this pack here. Card slot reader if anybody uses those still. Figure 8 UK mains lead. And that's the right angled input for the back of the TV. Standard Samsung remotes. We'll look at those closely in a moment, but that's the standard Samsung remote. AAA batteries will be in the back. 
And this year feels like a feels slim like a premium remote. But this is the smart remote. So it looks like the premium one this time. It's black brushed finish and I think it's plastic. Just zoom in closely on there. Standard Samsung remote. You might not get this in all countries. It does have a model code there. I'll put it in the description. But first of all, power at the top. Source input, channel number buttons, teletext and so on if you have that still. Volume up and down, channels up and down, mute, channel list. You've got your quick access or quick fire, Netflix, Prime, Samsung TV Plus have changed that too. I think it was Rakuten on previous years. Guide button, up, down, left, right, cursor arrows, return or exit. Settings button is the tiny button there. Colored buttons for what they apply to, depending what you're using on different apps. Audio description subtitles, then you've got your stop, play, pause, fast forward, rewind for USB media playback or on your apps. Flip it over, travel A batteries in the back. Cover back on. That's that. On to the smart remote. I did look for batteries, it doesn't have them, so I read the instructions. Looking at the back of that there, it's got a solar cell on the back, so you can leave that on the window cell. It will help charge it up or keep it charged. Also underneath, USB Type-C there, maybe out of focus, but USB Type-C, solar cell on the back to get it charged up or keep it charged. It claims as well to use 86% less power than the previous model, so it should last quite a long time. But looking at the buttons, power on and off there, Voice command button, whether you use Bixby, Alexa, or Google. Channels and other inputs there through that button and pages through there. We've got up, down, left, right cursor arrows and enter. Again, if we're using play and pause there, we can fast forward and rewind with these buttons. Or return there, home. Volume rocks up and down, in for mute. Or channels rock up and down and in for guide. And the other thing, quick access, Netflix. Prime Video, Samsung TV Plus. So looks like the previous premium smart remotes, but it's in black. It's also plastic, not aluminium, but it's still pretty cool, especially with the solar cell on the back there. Okay. Only the other thing, they clip onto the two feet for cable guides. So those there, take the rubber band off. So they just clip over the feet like so, and you can guide your cables down the back to keep them tidy. Okay, so that is the side profile. That is pretty thin. I'll get the dimensions next and we'll see what they are. But it looks half the depth or half the thickness of last year's. So just going around there. That is it from the front. You can see the two feet, which we'll get dimensions of as well. And the back. Try not to be too shaky, not using a gimbal. Okay, so dimensions time. It is a 43 inch. If anyone wants me to measure the width, I will. Even though they're pretty much all the same. For crap tape measure. So in inches, I make it 38 inch wide by 965 millimeters or 96 and a half centimeters the important one on these is the feet because it's got those feet it may not fit some stands you can get a universal pedestal stand but it is just under 26 and a half inches at the widest point or 67 centimeters thickness of the tv is just over an inch at its thickest point so it's quite slim it's 28 millimeters Okay, and the height from whatever it stood on to the top of the TV is about 23 and a half inches or just under, or 59 and a half centimeters. That's from the floor to the top of the TV. I forgot to mention the Visa mount, so we'll just quickly spin it around. So they are 200 mil square Visa mounts, and from the bottom of the TV to the center of the first hole. It's approximately 165 millimetres. That's from the bottom of the TV to that first piece of mount. 
TV is now connected via wide internet, mains and aerial signal, terrestrial aerial. So you've got smartphone there, you can set it up using your smartphone with all your saved Wi-Fi, password, Samsung account and so on. Or remote control step by step. I'm going to go for remote control. UK. So enter a pin. Detects aerial if you've got other devices, switch them on, whether it's Sky, TiVo, PS5, whatever. I've got it. So we're using aerial, so it's just aerial for me. Channel type digital and next. Continue to start tuning. That's my wired internet connection is successful. If you didn't have wired it would take you to the wireless setup page. So we agree to those. You can untick content intro, uh, content into interest based adverts and so on but we say OK. Checking for updates because there will be an update. It's fairly new out. Okay, then there won't be an update. As so that's telling me we're already up to date, we've got it. So here at home, I am logged in with my Samsung account, but I'm gonna skip it for the demo purposes. Put your service provider in, so you can put your postcode in there to give it locational preferences, which I will do. So that's just continuing to tune in there. I'll pause and we'll skip this bit. It could take a few minutes. Right, finished filming. Now it's for region select, so it is important to pick the right one. England, secondary region being the most important. For me, my aerial is facing Yorkshire, so that's where I pick. And that is it, picks leads. Okay, close. Quick summary there, what we've picked up, digital, digital channels, TV, radio, data and other, Samsung TV Plus. Preview Yorkshire and Lincoln, wired network connection, got it. Okay, so select your chosen voice assistant, I usually go for Google myself. Maybe even Bixby, but you can pick Alexa as well. So Bixby, Alexa, or Google Assistant. Or for now, I'm going to say later. Just get a bit brighter there. There we go. And a quicker way to link your app. So linking through your smartphone to link your Amazon account or whichever other accounts. Same for iPlayer. Skip for now. <laughs> Okay, nice little intro demo there. You're all set, experience the extraordinary. Start watching TV. Introspective moment because it is not that you go there. Okay, so this is a live stream from the news. It is on a free view HD channel, even though we're seeing a Zoom feed. We may see a studio feed in a moment. Maybe. Explain why do you think you deserve a race, right? It's quite a utopian company, yours, because 50% of the profits are shared among the staff each year. Uh, there's no overall CEO, there's no real managers. So how do you, among yourselves, decide whether someone is deserving of a raise? I mean, is there a sort of bracket that you put people in, and do people move within brackets? Well, yeah. Uh, okay, so while it's on a Zoom feed, I'm going to see if we've got an inbuilt retail demo, multi view there, but we'll have a look at all that in a moment. We have uh, like some kind of um, heuristics or, or uh, yeah, some, some kind of implicit rules that, for example, the, the, the people that is most, most uh, experienced or, or the people that have more years uh, or the people most senior, uh, they tend to present once a year.
Okay, I think that's it. I'm sure that's similar to one of last year's demos, although it does look nice. So we're going to go back to home mode. Uh, they explain uh, um, how they grow and taking, for example, different res new responsibilities or different uh, new skills in front of the customer in, in inside the company because we have like um, like. Uh, uh, Okay, I'll just turn the sound down a moment while we go through the smart hub. So press the home button there, obviously. I go all the way to the left to start. We've got settings, a digital butler there to connect your devices, existing gadgets. I did see an Apple message when that started up. Uh, apps there, so we can go there to download more apps from the Samsung App Store. Multi-view, so we can have different windows going on if we're watching football on different channels or doing a workout at the same time as TV. Ambient mode, pretty cool. So we have screen save, the kind of things in the background, displaying time, weather, or your own collages of your own photos. That's the home again. Samsung TV Plus, which I think they're trying to add to and push, which is cool. So Samsung TV Plus, just mentioned, works off your internet connection. Live TV, which we can see in the background at the moment. Netflix. Prime Video, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hub, Disney Plus, Now TV, Rakuten, Discovery Plus, YouTube, Apple TV. There is also Apple AirPlay, or you can share from your Google devices or Samsung smartphones to mirror your phone screens on the TV. Look at your pictures and videos, just cast them wirelessly. Samsung Health there, all sorts of yoga and things. Channel 4, All 4, or whatever they want to call it nowadays. Internet, so connect a Bluetooth keyboard there, browse the internet. Alexa. Okay, Google for your Google Home stuff. My5, and like I say, you can go to that app store. Sorry, that's my Google on my phone now. Okay. So press the return. I'm just going to turn the sound up so we can hear the TV on its volume, see what the speakers are like. And the World Health Organization is setting up an intelligence center in Berlin to identify future pandemics. It'll look for warnings from new diseases, including those passed from animals to people. The WHO has been criticized for its handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, largely focused around its initial reluctance to declare a global health emergency. Stay with us on BBC News still to come on the programme. A fish out of water story crossing generations. We talked to the 19-year-old who found herself moving into a retirement home and videoing her experience. Each to their own. As the country comes out of lockdown. That's the message from the Olympian Duncan Goodhue. It comes after the sports governing body said the lack of lessons during the COVID pandemic meant 240,000 children had missed out on learning how to swim 25 metres. That's the length of most pools. Parents across England are now being asked to prioritise swimming lessons for their children who've been unable to take to the pool. Completely it, mate. Right, so <coughs> I'm just going to try a demo off my own YouTube channel. Penalty area, we play on. Okay, and, uh, Pjanic, Iquain, and one word, Katari Iquain. Yeah. 
Well, he's a true finisher, and he's done it against Tottenham Hotspur before in the Juventus shirt. The man back from Chelsea has made it Juventus 1. Decilio up against Walker Peters. A good cut back, and it's deflected into the net. And Ronaldo has his goal, and Juventus have turned this around. They now lead by two goals to one. And there is the iconic celebration of Cristiano Ronaldo. Chisar to win the ball in the Juve half, and what a pass for Lucas Moura. He's assisted the equaliser. Spurs are back level against Juventus. Great work by him. So, I'll just come out of there, so, home button and back to live TV. I got a text from my mom saying she found the best apartment for me. And then it happened. I got in my car a few days later and started my journey with the U-Haul to my brand new small town in Arkansas. Cool. Oh my gosh. So on that note, I think we'll call that it for now. Good